Meanwhile, China's defense ministry has urged the Asia-Pacific region to be on high alert. This as the United States has now ramped up military deployment in the region and plans to revive a Pacific airfield that was used to launch atom bombs towards Japan. Beijing has responded by saying that its military is paying close attention to moves by the United States. The Chinese defense ministry spokesperson says it will firmly safeguard the country's maritime rights security and sovereignty in the region. The official said that the U.S.'s goal is for its own selfish gains and to maintain its hegemony. This as the U.S. Pacific Air Force has confirmed it is rebuilding the airfield used to launch the nuclear attacks on Japan during World War II. The airfield is located in the island of Tinian. Tinian is part of the northern Mariana Islands in the western Pacific Ocean and is a U.S. territory. The U.S. has made significant progress to reclaim the airfield from the forest that has grown since its abandonment by U.S. units in 1946. The project to convert it into an extensive facility will receive tens of millions of dollars under the recently passed National Defense Authorization Act in the U.S. The U.S. Pacific Services top official had earlier said that this step is taken to broaden its basing options in the event of any hostilities with China. The U.S. official said that if a conflict takes place, the country wants as many places to launch and land planes in the Pacific as possible. This indicates that U.S.-China military tensions are on the rise despite various diplomatic efforts in recent months. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.